Hey hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I've got some explaining to do of which I will do during this little cutscene story sequence here. Namely because I forgot where the heck I was in the story. <laughs> um, you'll notice I already beat a bunch of operations already. Well, that's because this is actually a take three on all those operations. The first take that I did I used a different camera and the sound quality sound muffled to me for you know for my voice so what I decided to do was just redo them with my other camera as I did before well that camera decided to screw up royally and completely mess up the sound quality I sounded like a police cars walkie-talkie or something like that police car radio or something it was horrendous so that left me a little bit bitter, so to speak, against that camera, because you, it's like, you never know when that kind of thing is going to happen again. So it led me to seek out another camera, of which I'm using right now. It's a Canon PowerShot G12. I am loving this thing right now, and I am hoping that it won't mess up. <laughs> uh, other Canons I've used before didn't mess up, so I shouldn't have any trouble using this one. The other camera that I used before for my voice wasn't all that good to begin with, so I think it was about time that I upgraded to something else, especially since I do other videos with a camera like live action and stuff like that. You get the idea. So this led me to completely scrap those two takes of all the parts that I made. I think I made two parts for each of these operations that I beat before in total, so I just put all these things in two parts. And this is what I'm doing right now. I'm redoing these for the third time. Needless to say, I'm not all that happy to be doing this a third time. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I do not ever, ever do post-commentary. Unless I would absolutely have to. Like, unless I would have to redo an entire game from the very beginning. Uh, to get back to the point that I would have to redo. Otherwise, I'll never do uh, post-commentary, because I always like live commentary, and it just keeps uh, it keeps my reactions in the videos and stuff like that, rather than me just talking about the uh, um, the game in post-play, so to speak. And needless to say, we're finding out now that guilt is actually a man-made virus, part of a medical terrorism thing. You'll notice that he mentioned that Kiriaki was named... Sunday as well. That is something I'll get into a little bit later. I should say it's it's code name is Sunday. I'll I'll explain it later. Don't worry. Calm down. But as of right now, we just got to get through this story. And there we go. And now I'm going to go to the greater good. And I should mention when you do the operations, you have the option to skip the storyline. Since I would like to you know show everything, I'm not going to be skipping the storyline. <laughs> But that's another thing that I should also mention, is because there's so much dialogue in this game, so much more that I remember. What I'm going to be doing is, in the description of all the videos, I'm going to be checking through them and stuff like that. I'm going to be putting in little operation timestamps that will lead you to the operation briefing. Like, uh, if you don't want to see the story, you can just simply click on the timestamp and you'll be able to go over to the operation that you need help for in that respective part. So you'll be able to search for whichever operation that you want just by its number. Like this one right here for the greater good is 2-11. So you'll be able to search for 2-11 using my uh, channel uh, channel video search thing. Or at least I think you should be. I, I was able to do that the last time I checked out the channel comment search thing. and but I mean channel video search thing. You get the idea. So, we're gonna be, gonna be doing an operation. So, this poor young girl has a heart disease, and we have to repair her heart with a valve. And that is what we're going to be doing. This is actually... It says we have to do a triple cut to do it, but that's actually something kind of silly. You can do that cut all in one stroke. I'll show you what I mean. It's, it's really silly. They want me to do it in three cuts, but you can just do it in one oval circle. And don't worry, this operation isn't hard. They're making it all drama-like and all exciting, and this one is extremely easy. All right, here we go. Light arrhythmia, we can do this. So yeah, if she goes into arrhythmia, the screen will shake and you can't do anything until you have to get the defibrillator out. All right, let's just... Here. Yep, this is the, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, this is the hearts, in case you don't realize. Looks like a sack of gel. 
So let's uh, just do a little defibrillation here and... Yeah, first try! Awesome. A two weeks absence and I get it on my first try, Jesus. And when I did this on my uh, the first two takes, I could not get that on my first try ever. <laughs> so this might very well be a good sign. Okay, this is the thing that we have to take out. Now we gotta drain it. Now watch us. Just This is the thing that we have to do in three cuts. Look at us. See that one stroke will take it right out. Now we gotta wait for the defibrillation. This is all scripted stuff. So don't worry, this is all supposed to happen. I got it again! I can't believe it! <laughs> now drain it, take it out, drain it again, plop this into place, Amazing. stitch it in, and... Oh, oh, oh shoot, I shouldn't have did that, I noticed that! Oh, I could have got a perfect operation on this one. Oh, well, I missed the defibrillation there. Two times anyway, so I guess that's not gonna matter too much in the long run now. Oops, I have to... No, 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 I'm supposed to stitch this. I forgot I already stitched the velvet. Whoopsie doodle. And yeah, now we won't have any uh, defibrillation problems. And we can also raise the vitals now. There was a vital cap before, which is why I didn't really bother. Um, whenever she goes into a defibrillation, what happens is that uh, the vitals go down all the way to an incredibly low number. And yeah, it's, it's not really worth raising the vitals in this operation. Unless you're like really slow or something like that. But that, as I said, this operation is not hard in the slightest. And there we go. It is true that uh, getting a su getting surgery is something that is very unnatural, but at the same time, it is amazing! <laughs> I mean, just think about it. People know how to cut into other people and repair other people on the inside of their he uh, medical problems. Come on, you gotta admit that's amazing. <laughs> It's going against nature, but dang it, screw nature, I want people to live. So, yep, she won't have any trouble living now, thanks to me. It's just what I do. It's how I roll, girlfriends. Oh, yes, no problem. Whew. Okay, I'm over-exaggerating here. <laughs> but when don't I, anyway? I mean, this is a medical drama video game here. I should say this game is overly dramatic at times, so... I mean, you know, this game is... It's it's a medical drama, but it's got sci-fi aspects, you know, with the whole guilt thing there, because, you know, those things aren't real, so... It's it's really over-dramatized, I think, in that uh, aspect, but eh, it's still a great game. And this is a little flashback of uh, Derek's... Derek as he was a kid talking to his mom, and at the time that his dad died, uh, the medical procedures that were out then didn't... They weren't out yet to, you know, help his dad. But at, at this time, they could have saved him, but now... I mean, but way back, they couldn't have. So, as I said, this game takes place in the future. So a lot of illnesses that his dad could have had, I don't know what, what he, his dad had. It didn't really explain that. But that's why he, his dad couldn't be saved, and that's kind of why he became a doctor as well. And that is why he's decided to pretty much go over to Caduceus to improve his uh, medical skills. And that is it for the operation. And now this should open up 2Z over here, but I'll be doing that last. I'll be going over to 3-1 here, New Beginnings, because I don't want to end off the part with... Uh, I should say, yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to end off the part with another story sequence. I'd rather end it off, I mean, I'd rather do, like, story, operation, story, operation, basically like that. You get the idea, just for a little bit of variety, rather than just waiting for, you know, the, the next part of the story to come, or for the uh, operation to come. You get the idea. Then again, you could use the timestamps anyway to skip through it, so I guess it really doesn't matter all that much to you in the long run. So, yeah. And I'm going to do a little moving over to Caduceus here, of which they're going to be introducing the hospital. This is all happening on screen here, so I guess I don't really need to explain this in the least. But you guys know me, I tend to talk a lot, and this facility here in this time period is pretty much the greatest medical facility in the world, of which have, sa have saved thousands of people. 
from illnesses as well as found cures to new illnesses and oh I've got a new wardrobe yeah I am looking sexy and oh thanks for the welcome how's it going you look awfully familiar oh you've got a brother oh that explains it <laughs> yeah he's got a brother that other guy that looks just like him so Let's continue on with the story here, and I'll take a look at Angie. Oh, she's got a new outfit as well. She's looking extra high-tech and beautiful. Oh, wow, Angie. Uh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. of. The, thank you. I would like to look at Angie some more. No, th stop getting in my way, man. Why do you keep getting... Oh, never mind. I, I should probably be acting professional anyway. I mean, I'm a doctor, for God's sakes. Hey, nice to meet you, Richard Anderson. How's it going? This guy plays a pretty important part of the story, so remember him, and uh, I'm not going to say too much more about him, but just remember him. He is... No, I'm not going to say anymore. Not gonna say anymore, and she's not gonna say anything either because she knows it's gonna be spoiled. I already talked to Angie about this ahead of time and told her not to say anything as well. She's gotta stick to her guns in the storyline here. As I said, this is a medical drama, and just like TV, you can't give away the plot line. This is all planned ahead of time, and you can't. I mean, you gotta keep leading the people on, gotta keep them in with the story, and yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> And hello, Mr. Stephen Clarks. He is an incredibly kind person. He really is, if you just listen to his dialogue and stuff like that. And if you ask me, I like a nice person, so I'll be glad to have him on my team. Or I should say, I'll be glad to be joining his team, so to speak. And this is Sybil. She's a anesthesiology specialist. However, she used to be a police officer. <laughs> That's quite the field change, I have to say. She used to be nicknamed the Iron Vixen. I mean, just think about going from a police officer to a doctor. I mean, granted, you're helping people both ways, you know, in both career choices, but they're, they're just so... There's just such big differences in the career choices. I mean, just imagine how many years it would take for her to get out of the... Uh, police force to get into the medical industry because you would it would take like four or five even more years to get into being a doctor or surgeon you know anesthesiologist excuse me and that that's so she would be as a police officer for quite a while and then she would jump right into a different field unless you know she got like on the job training or something like that unless maybe maybe what she did was she played trauma center and that's how she got her medical license. I explained this before earlier in the walkthrough, but I just thought I would reiterate on that, just on that point there. Anyway, and now it's nighttime suddenly. That's uh, quite a beautiful view, I have to say. Oh, poopers! That oh, I'm all filling out these forms. I'm tired of this office work, and this is kind of sucky. And yeah, you know, why did she come here anyway? Does she have something for? Uh, never mind. Nothing. Never. Mind. Uh, well. Yeah, let's, let's just talk to her a little bit, and he, evidently he recommended her to go there. And she does seem to have some... to know something about guilt. Is she hiding something? I don't know, man. I guess we're going to find out later on in the story. Heck yeah, baby. And potassium chloride, huh? What is that? Huh? Oh, hello. Who are you? Uh, wait, wait, huh? Wait, we know each other? Wait, we know each other? Oh, okay. So, we evidently went to the same medical school together, that's how we knew each other. And this is, it's just kind of like introducing him into the story. Derek and Tyler here knew each other and they're just going to be catching up briefly here. And that's all I'm going to really say at this point in the story. We're going to see more of him later on. He's another pretty important part of the story here. So I'll pay attention to his dialogue and what he does. And yeah, people can change a lot in three years. I mean, I've been making videos actually for, what, two and a half years now on my channel? And way back I used to just only use a camera pointed at a TV. And eventually I got to the point where I, I just decided I wanted to do more games on my channel and that required a better setup, which is exactly what I'm using right now. <clears throat> so, 
I guess he graduated ahead of us, and he got into Caduceus before us, and now we're just meeting up with him. Now, let's go over to... No, no, I didn't mean to do that! I didn't mean to do that. That is gonna get in my way, isn't it? <laughs> now, I do not want to skip the storyline. Thank you. Z slash 2. Well, Z dash 2, excuse me. Or 2Z... something like that. Oh, Z2? It is Z2, okay. Okay. <laughs> Old Brooks! So, once again, we're gonna be doing a random operation with uh, this random lady here for some reason. We don't know too much about her just yet, but believe me, we will know about her later, and she does play an important part of the story. I don't remember if I said this earlier in the operation, uh, operation, earlier in the walkthrough, but um, she her involvement in the story. Remember, this game is a remake of the original Trauma Center, the first one on the Nintendo DS. And they in inter in interrogated her, they integrated her into the story, and, well, it doesn't really fit in with the story. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain that later. But this, the, but these tumors that we're going to be removing in this operation, they're going to be very, very unique tumors. You want to work on one at a time, basically. Oh, I should say alternate between them one at a time and pay attention to which one you do. I'll walk you through how, how to do it nice and smoothly. And I said nice and smoothly. I didn't say miss the top dot. <sighs> Connect the dots, PK Gam. It is a beginner's book. Okay, this is a weird tumor. Can I, like, suck it? Thank you! Okay. I was just hoping for her to talk, stop talking. Okay, now you just want to sever the veins like this, and watch her- the vitals go down when you sever the veins. So, but just do them one at a time like that, and I'll pull it out like a normal tumor. You don't have to uh, patch the hole with a some synthetic membrane or anything like that, so don't worry about it. Whoa! Where did these come from? And you've got a sassy mouth, lady. That is not kid-friendly in the slightest. Anyway, okay, now what you want to do is drain this one, and drain this one. Now, this is what I mean about alternating between the tumors. Now, move over, go to the next one, back over to the other one, and to the other one. See what I'm doing here? Uh, if you work only on one at one time, what they'll actually do is that they'll revive themselves. So, that'll really get in your way, and yeah. And the, did you see what I did right there? I sucked the blood underneath the antibiotic gel there. That's a little technique that you can use to uh, get a little bit of speed if you get a little bit too happy with the laser there. And laser too much- HOLY COW! What okay. is this, and what? What about this? Huh? This... Come on! Huh? Oh, she's got the healing touch as well. Don't worry about it running out or anything like that. Just take your time here. I'm going to be working in a counterclockwise fashion on the tumors, just as I did before. And her healing touch is the most broken thing in the entire game. Whenever you do something successfully, it'll actually raise the patient's vitals. Yes! <laughs> You don't even have to worry about uh, the stabilizer at all when you're using her healing touch. All you have to do is perform uh, your proce procedures properly and you'll be able to get some excellent scores with her. And there we go. Now I just gotta take care of the rest of these. Look at this, even normally these laser holes, they would cut into the patient's vitals quite a bit there. Not with her healing touch. Oh, no, 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 and that is it. We are done. Like bacon in a frying pan. And that's pretty much all I'll be doing for this part. Uh, there's gonna be a little more story, but that'll be it. And I'm not gonna explain anything more about her. I'm just gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed. Um, oh, come on, that is ridiculous. I did that operation pretty dang good, except for that beginning when I missed the dot. <laughs> and yeah, for some reason she feels like that she can't like operate out in public, like out in the normal medical field, because her of her power, basically. I wonder if she feels the same strain that Derek feels, sort of, with his healing touch, so to speak. But, yeah, I'm not gonna go too much into that as well. It's still an uh, integral part of the story here, even though it's kind of a 
modified story from the first game, but I already explained that before. And, yep. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part when we start. 3 2, guilt. I have a feeling this has to do with guilt. I don't know where I'm getting this impression from. I'm just going by instinct here.